Hi again, I'm Omid. Welcome back to Phoenix English. Today's lesson, again, everybody's favorite, phrasal verbs. We are going to look at phrasal verbs with look. Again, what is a phrasal verb? It's a verb with a preposition combination to get usually very different meanings. Now, if you're thinking, oh my god, too many of these phrasal verbs, you're doing too many of these lessons, things are starting to look up. I'm getting near the end. There is a limit to how many of these I can do. So don't worry. Things are looking up. Okay, let's start with up. Look up. A few meanings. There is a literal meaning. Look up. Uh, look up at the sky. See that plane flying. No problem. If any of these words give you difficulty and you're not sure what I'm saying or you didn't catch what I'm saying, look them up in a dictionary or look them up online. Go to Google or go to wherever you go, the dictionary, punch in the word, and you will get the meaning of this word. Now, what I said before, things are looking up. If something is starting to look up, it means it's starting to be more positive. It's starting to look better. Okay, you can be a bit happier about what's coming. Look up to. This is a little bit different. Look up to means uh, because of the two, you're getting a bit of a direction of somewhere, right? So you're looking up to someone. If you look up to someone, means you use them as a role model. There's somebody you want to be like, okay? So usually when you're young as a child, you look up to your parents. You think, oh my God, my parents are amazing. I want to be like them. When you get older, we'll leave that to you. Look down. Now, I'm not saying you're going to look down on your parents. But when you look down on somebody, you're putting them beneath you. Okay? You're making them a little bit inferior. The opposite of inferior, superior. Okay? But if somebody is inferior and if you look down on somebody, it means you think uh, they're less than you. They're not as good at their job. They're not as good of a baseball player or whatever sport. You're a better student than they are. So you look down on them. You're thinking, not so good. Of course, look down by itself is just look down on the ground. Look over. Okay? Now, if there is a fence here between my house and my neighbor's house, I could look over the fence and see what's going on. But look over can also mean just check, okay? So for example, I wrote an essay and before I hand it in to my teacher, I want to give it to my friend to look over the essay and uh, make sure there's no mistakes. Make sure I didn't say anything wrong or make any spelling mistakes. I just want him or her to check it. I want him to look it over and check it. Look in on, okay? Looking on uh, means just keep an eye out for somebody or a little bit take care of somebody, right? So for example, I'm going away on vacation next week. I ask my neighbor to look in on my plans. All he has to do, come in, open the door, check uh, they're still alive, okay? We'll talk about look after. Uh, it's a little bit similar. You know what? Uh, I'll talk about look after now. If I have a dog, I can't ask my neighbor to look in on my dog. I need more than that. I need my neighbor to look after my dog. Look after means take care of. Okay? Look through is also a little bit similar to look over, but a little bit more detailed. Look through is inspect. Look for detailed things. So I want you to look through my essay and find this or that particular thing. Look over. Very quickly skim it. Look for any problems. Look through. I want you to go in detail and find anything. Now, look through can also be a physical action. For example, the police, uh, if they're trying to find a criminal, if they have a suspect, they will go to his or her house. They will look through their garbage to find any clothes. So, look through means 
inspect. Look for something specific. Okay, so look after, take care. Look into. Look into means investigate. So there is a problem at my office. Our sales are not very high. We are losing money somewhere. I'm going to look into the problem. I'm going to find out what's going on. Okay, so look into, investigate. Look out. Look out, be careful, right? Pay attention, something's coming. I throw a baseball, I say, oh, look out, because the baseball is about to hit you in the head. So be careful, be aware. Look out for means pay attention to. So I will meet my friend on the corner, but I want you to look out for him or her in case you see them and I don't. Okay, look out for, just pay attention to. Be ready for something to happen. Expect something to happen. Last, look around. So, of course, there is look around, the physical one, where you're actually moving your eyes around the place. But if you go into a store, the sales clerk comes up to you and you're going into a closing store, for example, the sales clerk comes up to you and says, can I help you with anything? You say, no, no, I'm just looking around. Just looking around basically means browse. I'm not sure if you know this word either. Browse means uh, you're going to just look and see what's available, what's on sale, if there's anything nice. You're not really looking to buy anything. But if you find something nice, you'll buy it. So you're just looking around, just browsing. Okay? Very simple phrasal verbs, I think. Very useful phrasal verbs. These are used every day in all kinds of situations. Learn them, practice them. Come back again to Phoenix English. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a nice day.